going against the grain, going against my brain. They train saints to refrain from blasphemous rage, so the pain rains down in other ways other than God's decay. Jesus is supposed to appear. Does that mean he's near? Are we in the clear for a revival of his prideful gears to turn in our worlds and eliminate fear and greed? We need to believe that we're free from feelings that deceive. We greet the breeze with our weeds and seeds and heaving deep emotions that are exploding and eroding just to be completed on our feet toward demons that seethe your heartbeat and make you weak because you're a creep. And we expect heat, expect not to freeze. But it's a defeat to heed the warnings of soaring jeans and molding cheese. Because you require more than these beings with your thieving lungs that grieve on tombstones with leaves. You constantly breed with people on fleek and expect not to reek like a geek with hands on his ween. It seems you get what you give and I get to live. So I guess I gave a shit at least once while I hid from the big bitches and shoved perks off cliffs. Now I sit with a wig made for one match, one catch. I'm a whole snack for one fat ass at band camp or for a vamp. Blood drips down my neck from my chest to my breast and it's drenching the dress I kept from the bed. I sweat from the distress and the hemp and the temp. Inside my room he crept and left when he got the best. And I guess he swept up the rest of his dust because no resin or debt surrounding his guests surmounted my quest. Envy is a gentler scene because they're just relenting their dreams to be a better being. It's not always better though, some just want the cheddar and dough that comes with your networking and pros. And go-getters know they wouldn't trade their lives, never, I hope, because they're clever and, ev and evoke the lives that they weather and hold. But even the elite think other people have them beat in some sort of endeavor or belief cause pleasure is neat. And whatever thought you greet, like do I have big feet, may leave you feeling depleted and weak because grief plants its seed and soon you're not the you that was once true. It's up to you to review your life. Don't screw it up and refuel on the brew. Don't end up on the news for being rude. Don't be a fool and lose your cool. Just stay attuned to your higher good. Cleanse me of envy, O oh heavenly Father, that trenches deep never tempt me or be unfriendly. Find no reason to send me to hell with the tendencies to spend G's to bend on speed. Lend me the power to hem the rips on my jeans cause they used to be trendy now I'm wondering why the heck we sent for these. Gluttony, fuckery, Dunkin' D's, and hungry fiends done the deed when you fucking eat. I want Wendy's Jr. bacon cheeseburger. The forsaken fee is murder for them to call Bessie and purge her. And they need herders, life stealing workers, to supply you with raw hide of a cow's behind. Grinding your teeth till the blood is wine that you dine and find fine. Time to crunch and munch till lunch is done. Maybe I take too much in. Baby, I save your chin from becoming a double-decker trouble festering in lesser muscles and forgetters of lives meant for the wild. Not your dinner plates, for God's sake, you rake in the food like a horse eats hay. Endlessly defending your love for treats like you want to taste every day. Please get away. Lust is a bust to the nuts for even causing a fuss over big butts and bridge ruts and slim sluts. Can't trust the dust you bite, so we fight in gripes till the knife lands in one of our spines and takes our life. So much strife to find the perfect wife just to learn she cheats on you and beats on you and her cleavage shows through to every scene, dude. Now you're stuck with a slut that erupts come from her cunt like a gusher all for luster. And you're cussing her out for being flustered at your small dick that won't get an erection. Instant detection of lust reflection. Fuck the wedding, we need introspection for the relationship to work and penetration for her to squirt. Pride is miles wide, no one feels the need to hide because they think they'll glide by like the other people who are high. Pride is pretty much a given these days, more than a privilege to a sole witness of roles of spirits to mold the difference between hoes hitting it and golden princes. Is 
the role to the indignant, but it leaves some people scared shitless because they're on the hit list of bigger bitches with their trigger finger itching. Everyone thinks they're proud, but no one says it aloud because they're not proud. They're shrouded in crowds that make them feel empowered. Otherwise, they cower and devour meat like buzzards. Nothing custom, sir, just bluffing turds and dusty verbs. Something earned is enough to turn your pride into dignity. Are you with me? Sloth comes at a cost if you don't want to be a lost cause. Better get up to speed and prepare your teams to take the lead before you fall behind and rewind your memories. They're so temporary, like lemon seeds. They'll grow real slow, but it's worth it because they're yellow and tasty. Chase me into the distance. Race me. Don't be lazy. Face me. Wrath comes last because it'll blast you into a cast. Make a dash for my sash and you'll be greeted with my fist. Defeated with one flick of the wrist. Shit seedless and I got a bick. No, you need it, but I'd rather diss your ass into the abyss and hassle your kids. I'm mad with the finger flick and I'm cancerous and I throw bricks. Cause I've had it up to here with this. These brats need to feel the wind as it begins to sin. Whipping up drifts of air that declare you impaired. God's sick of rarely seeing his comparison to bears. Bringing wrath in a mass to attack the tactless fools who map out ways to sap from every branch.